Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 132 of my aspirations challenge. And we have clearly moved houses. I didn't even mention in the last part that they were, were going to be doing this, or I don't think I did at least, but we don't have an extra bedroom for a baby and we need it. So I just built this house today uh, for a speed build. It won't be coming out for like probably, I don't know, like a week or so, but yeah, I built this house today and then I really liked it and I wanted to live in it. So we moved here. Um, we still have $25,000 though. She doesn't like to spend her money. Like she's not about, um, she's not very materialistic. She doesn't care if her house is really big or if her stuff is really nice. She just kind of likes to hoard her money a little bit. And also I'm not so sure that we're going to make a ton of money with, um, what's her name? My God, Piper with Piper, so it's kind of a good idea to save a little bit. Um, we're more focused on her aspiration than her career. Somebody left their homework in the middle of the road. I don't own it though, so I can't pick it up, but that's the weirdest thing I've seen. Um, anyway, so yeah, we packed up our cats. We live in this house now. Um, it's kind of a drab, like dreary, cloudy day, so you can't really see the house that well, but kind of just try and show it off if I can. Um, yeah, so th this is pretty much it. It's pretty small. Um, it does have two bedrooms here. I've put a bassinet here. We don't know what we're having, if it's a boy or a girl. Um, but I think it'll be born in this part, if not next part for sure. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, I think she has to go, to, oh no, it's Sunday. So we don't have to go to work today, which is kind of a relief because I really don't want to. Um, let's go to the, oh, okay, hold on. To the washroom, take a shower. Also, I've been considering having um, Rowan move in with us. I still don't really know where I'm at with that. I don't know if I want him to live with us. I haven't decided. I haven't even decided if those two even are going to work out. Like, I don't know if they make a great couple, but yeah. Anyway, we'll fill out this food bowl. Um, see where we're at their aspiration. We have to achieve level six of the charisma skill. We are blowing through this aspiration. Um, the last part though, I don't want to get too carried away because the last part is pretty difficult. We have to have 20 friends, make a BFF and achieve level 10 in charisma. And that is going to be kind of difficult. So yeah, I don't want to get too carried away with it. We do have some time to sort of focus on other things like her, um, not her aspiration, her career because I think we're only level four. We're a mentor teacher. Yeah, so we could always work on that if we really wanted to. Um, so yeah, basically in this part, we're just waiting for the baby to get here. Um, yeah, fill those food bowls. I got the washer and dryer. I always want to play with laundry, even though some people think it's annoying. I think it's realistic and I like it. Um, so what can we do here? We can work on our logic. We can research uh, or do our research and debate skill. Yeah, I guess we'll do research and debate, except I don't, oh, there we go, practice debate in there. I think that's the best way to go. I'm well, starting to think we chance. will have Rowan move in with us. Um, we gotta give him a chance, that's how I see this. And also, I've been thinking like a lot about, hold on, did someone just come to the back door? Oh, that's not, I don't want that to be the front door. Who is this? Cipriano, okay, well, I'm gonna set this as the front door. Cause yeah, he just <laughs> came to the back, door and knocked on it thanks but no thanks anyway um yeah so i think we could give rowan a chance possibly um and we are having his baby do you want to go to the flea market no the flea market is seriously dangerous for my game like my game hates going to any kind of festival it can't even handle it and why are you barbecuing i don't even know you Oh my god, this guy just showed up and he's barbecuing. Or not. What are you doing? That was weird. He just fired up the grill and then left. Like, he, was he just testing it to see if it works? That was so odd. Okay, well, anyway. Um, yeah, I think... I, I, I'm still going back and forth with Rowan. I am so hooked on Aldo, it's not even funny. But he did get married. Which kind of, you know, he got married to Latasha. I don't know. I've got a theory about that, though. I think these two kind of have, like, this unspoken, weird relationship. Uh, I think he kind of saw that she was sort of dating Rowan. Not really. And then he thought, well, I might as well just get over her. I still think Aldo and Piper have feelings for each other. I still think they want to be together. But it's really awkward. Um, Levi wants to come over. No. But, yeah, they kind of both moved on with separate people. And it just, I don't know, it made things really weird. Uh, okay, we need to get our logic skill up. We could always, um, 
read a book maybe purchase a book yeah i want to get her skills up because i don't know we can we can get promoted we've got time to focus on our career a little bit um we want skill books and we want to go down to h or no l yeah logic so let's read oh we have strawberries i don't know why can we plant them i mean we could okay i don't even really know what to do here i really don't know what to do um let's just read this book no don't purchase don't purchase where did you did that oh my god see if this was like an instant thing it'd be one thing um read open i want to where's the book i just bought this one yeah go read that book um yeah so we do have time to focus on her career i'm not too worried about it who is at the door denzel green I don't believe I know this sim. He's got the same last name as Aldo, though, so I don't know. I really don't want Aldo to have a baby, though, with La Latasha. That would be devastating to me. <laughs> I don't want that to happen because I have not closed the door with Aldo. I just think that, like, they could still end up together. I don't know. It's just these two need to, like, get together and talk about their feelings, but they never have. They've kind of just moved on from each other, and it's really... I don't know, it's saddening to me because now she's now, now she's with Rowan, this stupid fast food employee. Uh, okay, you need to go to the washroom like immediately. Just put that book right down. Oh, don't put it on the shelf. I don't like when they put it back in the shelf. I'd rather you put it down so I can put it in their inventory, which seems a little weird, but um, let's serve up some dinner. We'll do some fish tacos. Why not? And yeah, I guess we'll, we'll call Rowan over tomorrow. Um, where are we in our pregnancy? I think, um, second trimester in four hours. What's going on? Why can't you cook? <laughs> Have I not created the best cooking environment? Uh, what? <laughs> Why not? Seriously, the, the cupboards are like the countertops are too crowded for her to cook, which I, I not buying that really because, <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put that right there. I don't understand that at all. What, like, what, what's the issue here? Can you cook now? Oh my god. Oh wow, I click on it and absolutely nothing happens. Oh, okay, I guess we're good now? Alright, um, so yeah, we got our cats, Allie, what's the other one's name? Allie and Maddie. I kind of like those names, they're pretty cute. Um, yeah, I forgot that we got another cat in the last part. Also, I do have baby names picked out already. I don't know what we're having. Um, but I wanted to go with something because she is a cheerful sim. I wanted to go for, like, um, cheerful names or things that, like... I, I, I'm a big fan of names. I don't know why, but I love, like, researching names and finding out what names mean. And, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm a name nerd, I would have to say. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, I did a little bit of research on names that mean, um, like, cheerful or joyous or those kind of things. And so I decided on for a girl, uh, Naomi, because it means cheerful and pleasant. Um, so I like that. And then for a boy, I couldn't find anything that meant cheerful per se, but I did come across the name Isaac, which means, um, oh, I have to find it now. What does it mean? It means something. Um, I just had it up here. Isaac, uh, laughter and joy. So yeah, those are the names I've decided, um, Naomi or Isaac. I think those are both really good names. So hopefully you guys like them too. Uh, let's clean up this plate. There you go. I didn't even have to ask her to do it. She just does it on her own. Um, and then I think we are probably just going to go to bed and we'll finish our book in the morning. We'll invite over Rowan in the morning, see where things go. Um, if I thought those two stood a chance, I would have had him over already. But with the amount of time they spent together and they're still not that close, I just don't think there's a ton of like... I mean, there's obviously chemistry. Their romantic relationship is all the way up. They have no problem with that, but... I don't know on like a personal level I just I think their relationship is quite shallow um and it's definitely I mean it's too late like we're already having his baby so we're kind of stuck with him but um let's go to the washroom actually and she's going to work today um we don't have to worry about the logic skill because she's not even going to get a promotion today anyway we could grade some homework though and that will probably give us like a performance boost at work uh, hold on, are those cats both females? Okay, good, they are. I just don't want them to mate and have more cats. I, I think two is definitely good enough. Um, yes, we'll go to work today. I never really work from home just because I don't enjoy it at all. 
Um, like the tasks they give you, I it's not that fun. So we're just gonna go to work. And additionally, we're gonna be late for work because we're not done grading this homework. Oh my god, hurry up. This has taken literally two and a half hours. That's a long time. Teachers, I tell you, like they are so underrated. I was going to be a teacher, and then my friend convinced me, well, didn't like actually convince me, but me watching how hard she had to work in, in college, and oh, I was just, I couldn't do it. I knew I couldn't be committed to it, so I dropped out, but yeah, I, that was that was plan A, and now we're on to plan like D, where I make cupcakes for a living, so uh, I couldn't eat your mailbox. Oh, yeah, I thought that was kind of a weird place. Uh, I didn't think that was going to work. I put the mailbox on top of this, like, fence post. I was hoping that it was going to work, but I just don't think it's going to. It looks cute, though, so there's that. What time is she off? She, oh, 4 o'clock, okay. Um, yeah, so we're working hard. We're doing pretty good with that. I'm going to socialize with some coworkers for a bit, though, um, just to help get her social up. And we should probably have Rowan move in before the baby comes. I think that's the best thing to do. So we'll do that. And um, that, that's pretty much it for today. Um, hurry up. All right, $352 is good. That's pretty good. Let's invite over Rowan. Um, I know I can feel, I guess I can't feel, but I don't know. I think that Piper doesn't really want to be with Rowan, but she feels like she owes it to her baby to at least give it a chance. Um, because, you know, she wants her baby to have, like, both his parents together or her parents. Um, let's also, hmm, no. Oh, okay, so this mailbox is functional. That's actually really good. Um, can we go woohoo with Rowan? Because she could use some fun. Like, I feel like I'm just going to use him. Um... Give Reddit residence key. No, I want you to join household, please. Christina. I mean, I don't know if I necessarily want him to join the household, but... Um, also, Rowan is a loner, so I can't really see him wanting to do this either. Um, I would definitely say... Oh, I don't want your money, but thank you. Okay, I'm going to have to cheat our money. We have about $2,400, okay. Uh, <laughs> I never take their money. It feels cheaty, so I just, like, leave it. Okay, so really we have 24491, I think. I think that's how much it was. Okay, so uh, yeah, Rowan lives with us now. Yeah, like I said, I don't think that Rowan really wants to live with her either. I don't think either of these Sims are wholeheartedly in this relationship. They just kind of feel like they, they're they in a situation now where they need to at least try. Um, so that's what's going to happen. But I don't hold a lot of hope for these two. But we will definitely see. I'm giving it a chance for sure. And not just for the sake of the story. Like, I legitimately want to see how this relationship's going to go. Um, could Rowan do some laundry, maybe? I don't know. Do something useful. Um, and then you... I guess we could re finish reading that book. If I can find it again. This one, Logic. Yeah, like, I just I just want him to, to do something useful. Um, and he only works part-time, so, I mean, that's not very impressive by any means. Let's go, um, he's gonna go watch a movie. And we're almost done with our logic skill. There we go. Level two. That was easy. Let's go to the washroom. Uh, Charlie is calling again. He calls a lot. Like, he always wants to be around. Let's take a bubble bath, maybe? Because we do have to work tomorrow. Okay, so we have both of our promotion tasks. That's all good to go. Um, we just have to work on our charisma skill, which isn't like a huge priority for me at the moment. Um, then you can go to sleep. Okay, yeah, let me just, let me get to know Rowan a little bit here. So he's almost an adult, it looks like. Um, he's a perfectionist, child of the ocean, loner, and quick learner. Um, he is literally level one of the fast food career, and he is, like, he's almost 30. I consider, I guess, adult to be like maybe 40 35 I don't know but either way he's like definitely should have it together by now and he's still just level one as a fast food employee not that there's anything wrong with that but I mean I don't know it just kind of shows that he doesn't have a ton of ambition like I feel like when you're an adult you should probably have a full-time job um so yeah that's not that impressive and also like you can still progress in the fast food career you can become level up to level three I think which is a lot more acceptable you're gonna pee yourself so get up um at least we know that kind of means the baby is coming pretty soon um yeah we're already at give birth in question mark so it's coming pretty soon and how old is piper yeah she's good 
I wasn't sure how old she was. I never really know. I just kind of let them age as they want. Go back to sleep, please. He is a cute sim. I'll give him that. I like the color of his hair. Like, I just, I like his look. Oh my, I gotta turn the volume down because it's crazy loud. Okay, you're hungry? Yes, go grab some food. Rowan, I mean, you don't have a big day or anything, but you still, still should get up. Um, what time does he work at? So he's from five to nine. Let's dry that laundry, grab some more food. Yeah, we're doing okay. That'll get her to maybe watch some TV for a bit, just to have some fun. Um, yes, we'll go to work today. Not sure how long she's gonna be able to be at work for because she is gonna have the baby probably this afternoon. Is this ready? No, it's not. Okay. Not sure what else we can do, really. Um, like I said, Rowan doesn't have a ton on his schedule. Um, so yeah, he can just do whatever he wants. Um, she is... Oh, she's off to work. I totally forgot. I was going to get her to watch TV. Okay, yeah. So at this point, it's a waiting game. Uh, we'll clean up some cat hair. He's going to spend the day in his pajamas. Oh my god, that is so crazy loud. Oh, he's going all the way there. Okay, well, you don't have to do that, but okay. There is a garbage can inside. You yeah, get inside. You didn't have to come out here. Wow. Um, also, he has baby fever. So I, it's kind of cute. He obviously really wants this baby. Um, it's, it's pretty adorable. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be that committed as a dad. I really don't. He's, I don't, he's not a lazy sim, but he's also not very motivated either. Geek Con is in town. Good for that. Eleanor Elderberry. Okay, so who is... Let's find out what his family is. I don't even know who the Elderberry family is. So Eleanor is probably... Oh, his grandma. Plain old grand or mutual relationship with a grandparent. Okay, so Eleanor is his grandma. And then Ekram is his grandpa. Okay, this guy has no parents. Okay. So clearly, I mean, according to his family ties, he does have a parent, but he must not have been, like, the parents must not have been created. Um, I'm assuming the elderberries are um, townies. I don't, I don't know. Were they, like, Max's created townies? I have no idea. Weird. But yeah, I guess, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys know where the elderberry family came from, but I certainly don't. Um... So he literally has nobody in his life. He has no friends. His grandparents are dead. The only people he knows is his girlfriend and his girlfriend's cats, which is like super depressing. <laughs> so yeah, that's... Oh, what's this? Let's go see. Let's open it up. Because sometimes the cats bring back like little things and we can sell them. Uh, a pigeon and a seagull feather. Okay. Um, what are they worth? 40 bucks. 29 bucks. Okay, well, I'm not going to sell them right now, but... It's nice to know that the cats are bringing back useful things for us. <laughs> Let's do some laundry while we're waiting. At this point, we're just waiting for her to come home in labor, which I think is going to happen, but I could be wrong. This guy's got nothing to do. What time does he work again? Five, except he doesn't even work today. <laughs> this is so boring. He's got nothing going for him. Like, ugh, it's really sad. Um... Like, we can't even go for a walk here. What we could do is burn this leaf pile, because I'm tired of looking at that. Also, we literally moved next door. I think, or was it next door? Across the street, maybe? Hold on, I'm trying to find our old house. I think that was our old house. Yeah, okay, so we moved across the, str the street, which is a little odd, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure where else to place the house. Um, okay, so we're burning that leaf pile. Are there any other unsightly leaf piles around? I don't think so. Yeah, we're doing okay. Someone left their bike here, though. Can I take it? Ride bike? Do that. Even if it's not his. Like, this is very much not his bike. But <laughs> we're just gonna ride it anyway. Okay. Um, ride bike around. Why not? You know what I mean? Like, you found this bike. You might as well ride it around. There we go. Now we have something to do. There we go. Okay, well... So he's riding a bike. Uh, that's all he could find to do today. Um, and then you need to probably go to the washroom when you get home. I'm still waiting on this baby. I definitely thought we would have it by now. And then we're going to serve mac and cheese, I think. 
She is so stressed out from work. And it must be really annoying to come home and all your boyfriend has done is taken out the garbage and rode around a bike all day. Like, he rode his bike around town, watched TV. I believe he also pressed a button on the dryer. So that's, you know, hats off to him. That was probably hard. Okay, you need to stop doing that. Lecture about eating human food. Lecture about being on counters. These are things that I literally lecture my cat about every single day. With my cat in real life, there's no such thing as training out misbehaviors. She's just bad. Oh, lecture about everything, please. And we should probably go to bed soon so we actually have, like, the energy to give birth. Because so far, she is really tired. And he's still riding this stupid bike around. Okay, come home. Go to the washroom. Grab some leftovers. Where is this child? I've been waiting forever. You know what I just realized is that, hold on, I need to make sure I've never actually used the baby names that I've chosen um, in, this ch in this challenge. I'm not even kidding. I'm so bad at that. Okay, I have not. We're good. We are good. Okay, so she's going to sleep for a bit. Probably until she gives birth, I would say. He's really miserable. Oh, he's uncomfortable from being outside in the rain. Yeah, that makes sense. But I mean, honestly, he had nothing else going on today, so why not? go to sleep I'm gonna turn off these lights and he wants to be by the ocean you know what i could see this guy just being like you know what i don't want to be in willow creek anymore i'm leaving so if we if we do want to get rid of rowan there's an easy way to do it because he has a great backstory which is he wants to live by the ocean okay you know what i'm gonna get these two to woohoo just because like she wants to have some fun and rumor has it that's a great way to jumpstart labor so I mean, it's, it doesn't sound like a great way, but apparently it is. So they're going to do that. Oh, she is in labor. Oh, woohooing in labor. That doesn't sound good. I'm sorry for anything, any discomfort I've put you through. All right, you can get up and have this baby now. We're done woohooing. Okay, let's go have this baby. That's really all I care about. All right, let's see what we get. I'm kind of hoping it's a girl. Well, I like the name Isaac a lot, so I'm kind of hoping it's a boy baby. I don't know. I usually only hope for girls because I prefer dressing up girls than boys, which is like a really shallow reason. But I guess, I guess in this case, I'll be happy with either one. It's a boy. Okay, so we're going to name him Isaac. Oh my God, my stupid game. Every now and then, whenever I w hit the caps button... My reshade mod just freaks out a little bit and we have to wait for it to calm back down again. There we go. Okay, so Isaac, whoa. Yeah, my game gets like weirdly blurry. Um, Elderberry. There we go, Isaac Elderberry. Okay, please be one baby only. Okay, good, we only had one baby. Thank God, because I really did not want more than that. There we go. We had our baby. Okay, let's um let's take a screenshot. Oh, there's a bulletin board in here. I meant to get rid of that, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, so the next generation has been born. We've got Isaac, Elderberry, let's breastfeed, rock, and then go to sleep, I think. If that's all he needs. Oh, what is he doing? Oh my gosh! I thought he would be awake for this, but he wasn't. He didn't even do like the prenatal panic that baby daddies usually do. He just went to bed. Okay. It's a little sad, but all right. Uh, okay, so we are now a family of three. We're going to see how this goes. <laughs> like I said, I don't hold much hope, but I can definitely... Oh, it's 3 a.m. That's uh, right on schedule, 3 a.m. feeding. Let's change. Go back to sleep. I mean, he's not getting up. <laughs> He's almost fully rested, and he's still not going to be the one to get up, so no no surprises there. Um, okay, so I guess you can go take a shower. It's almost Rowan's birthday. I forgot about that. And if we sent her to work today. I was kind of hesitant because, like, I wanted to stay home, but uh, we will get a promotion today if we go to work. So that's some pretty good incentive to go to work. So, yeah, he's going to be on his own with the baby today. We'll see how that goes. Yes, we're going to go to work today. Uh, yeah, like I said, he, um, I don't know how this is going to go, but he hasn't even met his child yet. Let's clean this up. 
I guess we should go and like interact with this baby. Let's rock and talk and all those things. Please don't eat. Okay, good. She's not. Oh, she's a bladder infection too. Man, you know that you just can't win. <laughs> you cannot win. Um, okay, so he's taking care of the baby. He's doing a pretty good job. And then um, put away this laundry. Like I said, I don't know what. To, did he bring that bike home? I mean, I doubt it. I have no idea where he would have put that bike. Also, there's a Boy Scout coming over to our house. Or maybe not. Nope. And it's a Girl Scout. Oh, it's that Amelia girl. That's actually someone that she's friends with. Um, okay. This is sad because there's nothing for us to do all day. I want this homework out of the street, though, but I don't own it, so I can't pick it up. Ooh, let's go burn this leaf pile. No, don't play in it. My God, no, you'll stink. Go burn that. Burn. Yeah, you know what? That's what we're going to do today. We're going to go around and burn leaf piles. <laughs> Leave the baby at home and set some fires. Burn. I mean, if he were to set on fire, I probably wouldn't mind. I don't really like him very much. Uh, okay, I think we're, I think that's, yeah, we've, we've set some fire. <laughs> the, the whole park is ablaze, but that's okay. I don't know what else to do. Oh, the baby's crying. Oh my god. He is literally not even on the same lot, and the baby's crying. Come deal with this. Eleanor, congrats on the new addition. I do, I do think his grandparents would be proud. I'm sure they would be. Okay. Um, maybe now you can go watch another movie. I think he does work today at five, so we've got that going for us. I'm mostly just waiting to see if we get a promotion. Looks like we're going to get a promotion, and then we'll be level five of the career. And, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I, I really... <laughs> I'm I'm honestly looking for reasons for this relationship not to work because I'm just not feeling it. I don't like Rowan. I don't know why. I just don't like him. I'm still hooked on I'm still hooked on um Aldo. I need to make sure he doesn't have kids though. Um I think there's a way to find out, but I don't know. See, they're considered a uh, romantic interest, which is really interesting because there's nothing really there. Like the tiniest sliver, you can literally not even see it. Um Sid commands? How do I do this? MC cheats? No. There's a way to find out if they have kids. I think he does. Shh! Crap! <laughs> I was gonna say something else. He has two kids and they have different names. Like, different last names. This is ruining everything for me. I don't want him to have kids. I might delete them. <laughs> His kids are getting in the way of my story. I don't want those kids. Okay, anyway. We got a promotion today. Um, so, oh my god, I clicked that so many times. Uh, we're head of the department, so we're level five, um, which is pretty good. And then also, Rowan, you have a busy day at work today, so gotta get ready for your four-hour shift. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do not respect him at all. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, you can leave now, thank you. Okay, so he's gone to work. I bet she feels a lot better when he's not around. I know I would. Poor Rowan. I, he doesn't, he honestly doesn't really deserve it that much, but I just don't like him. Let's clean this up, and then I guess we don't have a laptop anymore. I kind of forgot about that. We should probably get one. I guess we'll watch TV for a little bit. Anyway, I think I am going to leave this episode right here. We'll find out what happens with Rowan and Piper in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this part, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.